Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax 2016. We are on day five. We are watching the tournament matches, B block specifically. Actually, is this B block or is this A block, John? I thought this was uh, A block. Yeah, this this uh, this is this is A block. I, I I think I might have said B block in the last video too, and that was a mistake. But this is A block, so. We've got Makabe in the ring right now with Sonata. This is a huge match because Sonata had a massive upset on day one, defeating Tanahashi, but has since lost, so is now 1-1. One one. Meanwhile, Makabe is 2-0, and oh, so maybe Sonata can continue his upset streak by adding the first one to the L column of Makabe. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Makabe, I think, has just got a different kind of confidence about him. We'll see if he can have an unprecedented 3-0 and record in his block. Yes, sir. And uh, right now we've got our New Japan World player set to 1 hour, 40 minutes, and 55 seconds. That's one four zero five five. We will be hitting play when I say go. Three, two, one, go. And Makabe getting patted down. Referee making sure both guys are in their corners. And the bell just rang. And I'll tell you, partner, this is going to be such an interesting bout for the reasons we just discussed. Who do you got in this one? I'm picking Sonata for the upset, for the, the you know, given Makabe's first loss. I'm thinking Makabe is going to go 3-0. and I'm just really liking what he's about in this tournament. I think he's had a great game plan. I think his confidence is at an all-time high. Hey, I respect Sonata, and I think his stock is quite high as well. I mean, this isn't to uh, shirk him in any way. Yeah, Makabe has been, been really smart him. in this tournament because it feels to me like what Makabe is doing is he's taking the strategy that won him the biggest match of his tournament last year against Naito and using that strategy in every match. But see, the folly in that, while I agree with you, the folly in that is when do the other people catch on? Well, and when it's do kinda, they have again, I kind of pointed out on, uh, I believe it was Saturday, I pointed out that it's almost impossible to counter what Makabe's been doing because once he has you on that top turnbuckle, you can either resist getting your head smashed into the turnbuckle and get suplexed or resist the suplex and get your head smashed into, and not even the turnbuckle, the ring post. Exactly. You know, there are, the, there are only so many directions you can kind of force your body weight, and Makabe has seemingly an answer for all of them. And Makabe just gave Sonata a look after that chop that's like, you really want to do this? You really want to play with me like that? And we got a side headlock here. Sonata breaks it. Shoulder block, though, by Makabe. Now vaults over. Oh, oh, caught Sonata power slam. And Makabe had Sonata scouted out. He knows Sonata likes to do two leapfrogs and then a drop kick. And he didn't even let him get the first leapfrog off without catching him. And then he clotheslines him over the rope. Sonata now on the outside near the guardrail. The guardrail, the uh, G1 competitor's weapon of choice here. And now you see it again there. Sonata's back right into it. It is going to be the skull end versus the King Kong knee drop. And I'll tell you, that skull end submission hold, that dragon sleeper body scissors, it's brutal. I mean, just ask Tanahashi how brutal it is. And but then again, hey, let's also, let's not forget that one of, oh, and look at that, Sonata kicking the middle rope while Makabe was straddled over it. Yeah, just perfect, perfect timing there by Sonata. But as you were saying, partner. That was a legal low blow. If there's such thing, that's what we just witnessed. Exactly. But uh, what I was saying was, let's not forget Makabe, one of his favorite moves, when he misses a lariat with that right arm, he likes to come back and hit you with it on the left. Exactly. Sonata likes to weaken the left arm. Right. Maybe that won't be as effective with Sonata doing what he does. Oh, and share right to the gut there, Makabe. They're in the crowd now. They're pretty deep in the crowd, actually. And Sonata would be totally content. Taking a count out victory here. Oh, he has his me. bat. He has his bat. He's not even done. Oh, he's going to choke Makabe with it. Wow. And you know what this tells me, though? I, th I think it shows that Sonata really understands the gravity of this match. He, he knows he's in there with somebody that hasn't lost a match in G1 yet. And when you haven't lost a match, when you've got a win streak with a tournament with the stakes as high as this one, 
I, I mean, you know, it does put a little extra pep in your step, and Sonata realizes Makabe isn't going to be a walk in the park, and that's smart by Sonata. But, hey, at the same time, Makabe recovered very quickly, but I think that it was kind of a, a rush job because the referee was counting, and he didn't want to get counted out, so that forced him in his weakened state to re-enter the ring and basically fall prey to Sonata. I mean, I, I agree with you, partner. And I don't know if Makabe, maybe he could have taken a little bit of extra time just to get his bearings together, but he wants in this match. I mean, he's a fighter, that's for sure. A nice forearm there by Sonata recedes Makabe into the corner. And now look at that, just the knee right to the midsection there. And Sonata is now just grinding the knee into the face. Oh, man, Sonata. He is just all over Makabe. Makabe's got to be feeling a little bit claustrophobic with how much Sonata's been hovering over him and just in his face. Now Makabe down, favoring the throat. And I'll tell you, that that also, I think, is a good setup before the uh, the skull end, because that's got to cut off your ability to breathe, at least to some degree. Nice back elbow there by Sonata. Goes into lateral press, too. Makabe kicks out. And Sonata, I gotta tell you, Sonata's in firm control right now. Absolutely. And now look at that. Working the, uh, I don't want to say it's necessarily a rear naked choke. Could be a sleeper. It with, looks very uh, much like a sleeper to me. Yeah, I mean, Makabe in a seated position, which is not good for Makabe, because when you're grounded like that, instead of being vertical, it, it's harder to show resistance to something like a sleeper. And now Sonata sinking with Makabe, that's smart, because you maintain the leverage advantage. And look, look at, at that. this. Is he going to be able to maybe even transition this into a skull end? Potentially. I don't it even know. It looks like he he's got his that. legs scissored around Makabe already. All he would need to do is transition his arms over into the skull end and have that locked in perfectly. Look at Sonata's eyes. They tell the story. These are eyes of a man that wants to make his opponent pass out, wants to really choke him out. And in the meantime, the eyes of Makabe convey only anger. Exactly. Anger, but an anger that may be fading. Look and now look at pin. Sonata shooting the Dude. half. And Makabe there kicking out. Beautifully done by Sonata, that whole sequence, and he even had that sense of urgency to go for the pin, but Makabe staying in it. And now look at that, asking for more. Makabe realizes, hey, I'm no pushover. I'm not a doormat in this tournament for you to get easy points. I'm 2-0. and oh. It's going to take a hell of a lot more than that to take my streak away from me. Makabe inviting more now. Just a straight shot to the face there by Sonata to Makabe. Wow. Makabe, I think he's perturbed. I think that just annoyed him. And now look at those shots here. Blocking Sonata's shots, answering with some of his own, and look at that, just collapses, though. And then Sonata with the boot to the back. Sonata really just shutting down Makabe's attempts at getting offense here. And then look at that, the Eirek, that is just blatant. No, no finesse, nothing savvy about that. And, oh, oh, the, the lariat. lariat! He almost exploded with it because he immediately collapsed in Makabe. I'd call that a desperation, Lariat, just to kind of reset the playing field a little bit. Yeah. And now Makabe is stirring here. Up to his feet. And now look at that oh. inviting Sonata. Charges corner lay right there. Beautiful. And now. Ten count punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we know he likes to proceed this with the Northern Lights, the wrist clutch variation. He got it. One. One. Two. Two. Oh. Only a two count. And I'll tell you, Sonata. Makabe has got to be careful. I know he likes to power through, but Sonata even finds a little bit of an opening. That skull end's going to be locked in. Look at this, though. Back elbows here. Oh, Makabe, though. Kick to the midsection. Flipping off Sonata. Off the rope. Sonata vaults Here's over. Here's the double leapfrog. Drop Falls back. Drop kick right on the money. And now Sonata Finally, just rolling. Sonata decides to take his shirt off, taking another page out of Naito's book. Yeah, Sonata, I mean, you know, and this isn't a joke. I'm not joking about the, the seriousness of this tournament match, but Sonata, I think, finally getting serious when he takes the shirt off. Nice back elbow there. And now Fireman's carry. Carry. Makabe, though, look at that. He was wiggling all around, got out of it. Nice forearm there. If I remember correctly, Sonata likes to use that TKO that Carl Anderson used to use. You would be correct, sir. And now they keep going back and forth with the forearms. Oh, Makabe is seemingly hitting quite a bit harder than Sonata, actually. I would agree. Definitely has a little bit of more muster in those punches. And, oh, my God, another forearm there. And now Makabe. Oh, the uppercut, oh. though, by Sonata. Changing it up. 
and it pays dividends. But another lariat by Makabe. Wow. What a lariat that was. Yeah. I'll tell you. Sonata better watch himself. He's, he's in a bad way here after that lariat. And now Makabe here. Could it be a power bomb? No, look at the punches to the head and the face. And then a kick to the midsection. Now Sonata off the ropes. Oh, look at that duck. The lariat. Oh, with the rebound there. There was the rebound lariat that I was telling you about earlier. But as it turns out, believe it or not, Sonata hasn't done any work on that left arm yet in this match, if at all. And there's the power. I was going to stack him up. Two. And a kick out there. And Makabe. Makabe. I think Makabe needs to hit that, that combination on the top with the ring post and the German suplex so that he can set up that knee drop. If Sonata's smart, he won't let Makabe take him there. Look at this fireman's carry. Into There's the, the TKO. TKO. Beautifully done. Hooks the leg. Two. And Makabe kicks out. Just shot the shoulder off the I canvas. was going to say, that was far from a kick out, my friend. That was a desperation. Lift the shoulder off the ground as quickly as you can. Exactly. That TKO. Makabe looks dazed. Yeah, he does. I mean, that TKO really threw off his equilibrium. Could it be the skull end? He has it in. He Is does. He... Now, no, Makabe, though, smart. Look at it. that. Just clubbing out of it. And now, oh, look at that, Ooh. Ducks. The German, what There's a that... bridge. Wow. Two. Oh, oh so close for that... Makabe, but not enough. God, Makabe's good. That, 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 you... You see a guy that looks the way he does and acts the way he does and throws up the middle fingers and cusses all the time and, and, and throws all these strikes and punches and stuff, and you would never expect for him to be that technically sound and throw that beautiful of a bridging German suplex, but there it was. And look oh, at it's Sonata. Sonata. That it... He had the, the move scouted out. He wanted to not let himself get caught on the top rope. Basically between a rock and a hard place. That was an ingenious counter, but oh, Makabe gets the boot up. If Makabe gets Sonata up on that top rope, you might as well call this match over in Makabe's favor. Oh, oh I was worried. Sonata, was their springboard. Spring drop kick. kick, though. Can Sonata forget. end the streak of Makabe? Let's not forget, Sonata loves to use that moonsault that he was basically inherited at this point by the great Muda. Exactly. And now... Makabe here dazed. He wanted that top rope. That uh that avalanche German suplex proceeded by the King Kong knee drop with the steel ring post assist, but now it could be skull and No, it's the wrong arm. See. Makabe countering again. Brain Buster! Wow. Wow, and now look at that Sonata though in that corner. Maybe Makabe would just want to forego everything else and try the King Kong knee drop, but he's barely even stirring here. You almost have to wonder if Sonata's trying to bait him in because he knows he has enough energy to kick out or even roll away and prevent it from even hitting him and, and make Makabe hurt himself. Yeah, maybe. And now Makabe has that. That's a valid strategy, you know? Oh, Larry to the back. Oh, wait a minute is. here. This is going to be it. This, I think that that might be the end of the match right here. He's Ken got him Sonata. set up. He's resisting. But again, Makabe is going to use that ring post to his advantage. And it's perfectly legal. Back elbows oh. here. Sonata. Oh, my God. He does it twice if he needs to. He has no shame in going for it more than once. And now Sonata again. Second and again. Third time. And again. Fourth time. And now, and now he got first. it. Oh, my God. Are we looking at 3-0 and oh here? Course Sonata. Strength. He has the core strength to lift. But look at Sonata, though. I think he's moving. Oh, the cow, he got it. it okay. Oh, my God. Are we looking at three and oh, one, one two, two, three eight. out. Togi Makabe, three and Okabe. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, guys. Unbelievable. Sonata also opened the tournament beating Tanahashi and hasn't won a match since. I mean, can anybody stop? That steel <laughs> ring post assist German, and then the King hey, Kong. You know what, though? I think Sonata had the right idea. I don't know if you can stop it, but I think you can stop yourself from being put in that situation. Exactly. Sonata tried to his credit. Makabe has been a beast in this block, guys. He's discovered a, a sort of a, a cheat code almost, really. And if this was the NFL and somebody did something as exploitive as what Makabe's doing with that ring post, 
at the end of the calendar year, they would have a meeting with all the owners and come up with a rule to prevent that from happening because it does feel cheap. It does feel like a cheat code. It does feel like something that shouldn't be allowed. But right now, New Japan doesn't have any rules against it, so Makabe is going to keep getting away with it. And hey, you know what? I can't even condemn Makabe. When you're in a tournament like this, it's about headlining pay-per-views and winning championships. And Makabe wants to get back to that IWGP heavyweight championship pitcher. He wants to main event Wrestle Kingdom 11. And you know what? If that steel ring post is ripe with abuse, it's because Makabe has a purpose. That purpose is main eventing Wrestle Kingdom 11. Absolutely. And hey, another parallel that I want to draw between what Makabe is doing on the NFL. A lot of the time in the NFL, you will see offenses use different gimmicks that, that work for a little while, whether it's you know, the wildcat offense, or very recently we've had a lot of read option in the NFL that works for a while, but once defenses catch on, or in Makabe's case, once his once his competitors catch on to what he's trying to do, it stops working consistently. It might still work against some of the lesser opponents, but it doesn't work consistently anymore, and I think that might end up being Makabe's downfall. Once people start to really scout out what he's doing, the first person the first person to figure out how to counter that ring post German suplex combination. I think everyone is going to learn from that one person. And I don't know if Makabe is ever going to be able to get it off again. I think your assessment is spot on. And it really poses the question. Makabe's how early got the... into this tournament is someone going to figure out how to counter it? Yeah. I mean, we know Makabe has the repertoire, but does he have the ability to adapt? That's the question that hangs in the air for the moment. But Makabe in the present three and O in the a block. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to close out this recording. It's been a lot of fun. And up next, we are going to have, I believe, if my information is correct, which it wasn't last time. But uh, actually, no, it was last time. So, yeah, it's probably going to be Tenzon versus Marafuji. So that being said, that match is going to be great. Tune, make sure that you stay tuned. <laughs>